long, long time ago, when God Father Creator was making the earth, he made rocks. He made lots of rocks. And like us, no two are alike. But he made one really special rock, really big. And he set it down in a special place close to where his people of Israel were. And he told the rock, wait for the miracle. And the rock went, okay, but what's a miracle? And God, Father, Creator said, you're going to see. Now, over the years, the rock stood in his place. Rocks don't move very fast. They don't leave where they're set. But the rock had cut me. Birds and flowers. And some people would walk by and went, wow, what a big rock. What happened was that after thousands and thousands of years, the rock saw something. Rock was used to being dark at night and bright in the daylight. But this night got really, really bright. And there was a big star in the sky and the rock went, wow, I wonder what that is. And God, Father, Creator said, part of the miracle. Rock still didn't know what a miracle was. And when the rock looked down the hill, there was shepherds and sheep and a man and a woman, and a brand new baby just crying like crazy. And the rock went, babies, that's a miracle. Over the years, the rock watched people walk by and their lives go on, and he thought about the baby. Then, after the rock didn't know how long, but let's say, oh, 20, 30 years, the rock looked down and saw a young man that everybody was coming to see. And the rock thought, that's cool. And he watched as people gathered on a hillside to listen to the young man talk. And they stayed all day, and then they got hungry, and then they needed food, and there was no place to get food. And the rock watched as this little kid walked up, and he had a little pouch. And in that pouch was some bread and some little bitty fishes. And he told the nice man, I could share these. And the friends of the nice man went, that's so sweet of you, kid, but look at all these people. The nice man said, get some baskets, start passing the food around. And before you knew it, everybody had been fed from those couple little loaves of bread and those little bitty fishes, and there was leftover that they took to the needy. And the rock went, that's a miracle. And God, Father, Creator says, you're catching on. As the rock watched more, saw the young man and his friends, and they traveled around talking to people and sharing with people. Oh, watch. Those people are crying because their child died. Oh, I don't like that. But then the young man came, and he went up into the little girl's room. And he told her, he says, you need to get up. I'll go tell your family to fix you some food. And she got up and she went into her family and they all quit crying and they started <gasps> laughing and dancing. And the next thing you know, they had a party. And the young man took his 12 friends and off they went. And the rock went, another miracle. And God, Father, Creator says, you are really catching on to this. But wait, there's more. Over a little more time, the young man talked to more people. He healed a fellow who was blind. He healed some people who had an awful, ugly rash all over their skin so that nobody would come near them. And they begged him, and he healed them. Now, a bunch of them ran away to show everybody, but one came back and said, thank you. That was a miracle, and the rock knew it. Then, one day, the young man told his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. And they went, okay. And they said, and I need a donkey. And right outside the city, there's a man with a donkey, and you tell him I need it, and he'll give it to you. And so that's what they did. And they 
put him on the donkey, and he came in one of the city gates into Jerusalem, and as luck would have it, people started to gather and jump up and down, and they pulled branches off the palm trees, and they laid down their cloaks, and they were so happy to see him, and they went, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is the Messiah promised by David and God. And the rock is going, what? No, he's just a nice young man who is a good healer. And God the Father creator said, watch for the miracle. Now all that day, people were singing and laughing and dancing and throwing the palms around, and they were so excited to see him. The next day, things changed a bit, and the rock is watching because he wondered what could possibly, possibly be better than the day before. And the young man and his friends, they went to God's holy temple, and there were people there right outside, and they were selling animals, and they were changing money, and the young man turned over all the tables, and the money went everywhere, and he shouted at them, my house will be a house of prayer, not a house of money changers. And the money changers went, oh, and they were scared. And the priests and the rabbis in the temple were going, wait a minute, we make a lot of money off this. And so they had to get together and think. And in the meantime, the young man took his people and they went places and he told them stories about the kingdom of God and heaven and what was to come. And the rock is watching all this and going, I don't know what he's talking about. And God, Father, Creator said, wait, here comes the miracle. Now, toward the end of the week, on Thursday, it was Passover. And so everybody would get in their homes and celebrate the Passover. When God passed over the people of Israel in Egypt, and none of them were hurt, but all the firstborn of the Egyptians were killed, that was so the Pharaoh, who wouldn't listen to God, would let his people go. So for all those years, they would celebrate. And so they would have a special Passover supper. And so Jesus and his friends gathered in a room, and they had the Passover supper. For us, that's the very first time the Lord's Holy Communion, the Lord's Supper, was celebrated. And Jesus broke the bread, and he blessed it, and he said, I need you to eat this, remember me. And he passed around a cup of wine, and he said, remember this, remember me. And then he did something really strange. He went to wash their feet. And Peter went, no, no, Lord, you can't do that. I'll wash your feet. I'll wash your whole body. And Jesus says, no, you must be a servant like I'm a servant. And he washed their feet. That was really cool. Now, after dinner, they all went, Jesus took them, and they went up to a place called Gethsemane. And it was a garden, and it was beautiful. And Jesus told the disciples, and the rock is watching. Rocks don't sleep, you know. And he said, y'all wait. And so they settled down to wait. And he said, pray a little bit. And they said, oh, okay. Well, when Jesus went to pray, guess what they did? And the rock said, look at them. They all fell asleep. If I could holler, I'd holler and wake them up. And Jesus went to pray. And he was praying to God, Father, Creator. And he said, I know what's got to come. Is there any way we can do this differently? And he knew the answer. He knew what was to come. And the rock was real upset because Jesus, this nice young man, looked so sad. As the evening went on, he went back to pray. He'd go wake him up, and he'd go back and pray, and then he'd go wake him up, and then he'd go back and pray. And they were getting ready to leave the garden, and they heard this noise. Chum, 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 chum. And here came the soldiers. And they came up the hill, and they arrested him. Oh! The rock was like, no, 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 no. You can't arrest him. He's nice. He just does good things. Oh! And Godfather Crib said, it's okay. Watch. Here comes the mule. Now the soldiers marched Jesus back down into the city. 
and they had sort of like a trial, but it really wasn't, where everybody said, yeah, 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 crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. The rock is going, uh, God, Father, Creator, I've seen crucifixions and this is not right. Wait. Wait. They took Jesus and they tied him to a post and they took big, long pieces of leather that had things like nails in it and they whipped him across his back over and over and over again. If the rocket had hands and eyes, he had covered him because it hurt him. And then they took Jesus and they made him carry this big heavy cross. But he could hardly walk because they beat him so much. But eventually they got the cross up the hill to a place called Golgotha, which sort of looks like a skull. And the rock is going, I can't look, I can't look, I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this, I don't want to know this. No, 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 no. And God, Father, Creator said, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Wait. And the rock says, no, 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 no. They put Jesus on the cross. They nailed his hands. They nailed his feet. They called him names. They taunted him. Some of his friends ran away, and some of them stayed kind of far back and crying and weeping, and after several hours, suddenly Jesus kind of looked up to heaven and says, Father, I give you my soul. And he died. It was the Sabbath, and it was an awful way to start the Sabbath. And the rock was miserable. But then he realized not only had they taken Jesus off the cross and wrapped his body up in clean linens, but they were walking his way. Oh, I don't want to see this. No, no, no. And God, Father, Creator says, I made you to be a part of this miracle. And the rock just stood there. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be a part of this. And he watched as they brought the body of Jesus and there was something carved into the ground and into a cave. And they took him in and they laid him down on a place sort of like this. And then because it was the Sabbath, they had to go. But they were going to come back the next morning and bring some herbs and spices. And the rock's going... Mm -mm. I don't want to have anything to do with this. I don't want to have anything to do with this. I, don't, I, I, did, I watched him all his life. He's nothing but good. And then here come the soldiers. Chomp, 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 chomp. And they took the rock and they pushed it over the opening. And the, I don't want to do this. And Godfather said, it's okay. Wait for the miracle. Now the rock stayed across the tomb for the rest of that day, all the next day, and all the next morning. But he didn't like it. And then all of a sudden, early the next morning, there was a kaboom! And the rock was rolled away from the tomb. And then a couple of women came, because they brought the spices, and they went in and they looked inside and said, oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's risen, just like he said he would do. And they ran away to tell all the others. And the rock went, all right, now I understand. Here's the miracle. And forever and ever and ever, the rock has been happy, remembering that when he was rolled away, the tomb was empty. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ our Lord is risen. Amen.